Hey yo everyone, this is the Happy Animate Cafe Manager here with another Let's Play for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, I got a little bit of time before I go, go to work, work, so... Yeah, this is the same battle I let, left off last night. Had to cut, cut it early because... Cut the last episode a little early because... Why did I do it? Oh, oh, it's because it was cl close to 2 p 2 a.m. and <clears throat> oh yeah, around that sort of time. Yeah, my mom's gonna have a fit with me if I stay up too late. Yeah, it is a work night. Yeah, I wanted to get, get all this recorded during nighttime. Especially when things got all crazy. Oops, I was supposed to knock it out for steel type move. Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. Oh my, I thought I was going to commit Harakiri. No, no, no way. Otherwise, this would be an M-rated game. Victor, the fates have decided. I concede, and I apologize sincerely for doubting you, Commander. I know I have no right to ask it, ask it of you any longer. But please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition. To no, for the sake of the Celestica people and all the Pokemon living in Hisui. Don't worry, Commander, we've got the red chain. Yeah, it's kind of funny how he needed the armor when... <laughs> Bring the red chain on top of Mount Coronet. Commander's headed for a temple, but... I fear the situation is already beyond our control. moment has come. It's time to use the red chain. Let's see what it could do. Hold on a sec. My head. Something's talking inside my head. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, Hubid. Adam, man, what are you saying? What do you mean, catch you? 
All my Sinnoh, I, I think all my Sinnoh just spoke to me. It's telling me, you hold the red chain, try to catch me, the human. Uh, try to catch me, then human, for the fight to come. Take these. Alright, we, we actually get an actual cinematic cutscene for a change. Like... Get to meet Dialga. What happens if I pick Irida to accompany me? The, does that mean I'll fight, fight Palkia? What? After all that? That didn't do shit. Yo, mama! Okay, so I am allowed to capture this guy. Yeah, better make use of those Ultra Balls. Oh, sweet! Alright, Dialga's added to the Pokedex. He caught it. The red chain has shattered, but we owe the Pokemon of the lakes our thanks for getting us this far. Oh, well done, Victor, my boy. Masterfully handled. I was watching the old times you battled and caught your way to sim a simply stunning victory. You truly are the pride of the Survey Corps. Looks like I taught him well. <laughs> Wait, it's not happening again. I can hear all my Sinnoh. No, no, it's called Dialga. Mighty Dialga speaking to me in my mind. Space time is torn. Awful power spills forth. The frenzy one comes to fight. Now, human, fight with me. You're telling me there's another one? But the red chain smashed to bits. No way even Victor could tackle another Pokemon as strong as the last one now. Oh, so the red chain makes it a little weaker. Okay, so I'm fighting Palkia next. Oh my god, it's Godzilla!
Go, go, go. All of you, we must vacate this. God, forget the fancy talk. Book it. Come on. We've got to make it back to the summit camp while we still can. We need to leave before this other almighty signal decides it wants to fight us. But Commander, we can't just leave it here. You dunce, you won't be of any use to anybody if you die up here on this mountain. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get gone. We gotta be gone. Okay, so I don't have a choice. Such rightful power is certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before it, Victor. And did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? It seems likely that the buildup of the sea of this same energy was what caused the strange lightning that threw the noble Pokemon into their frenzied states. I can't believe there really were two almighty Sinnoh after all. Guess that means neither of our clients was really wrong, huh? I must apologize from the bottom of my heart to the both of you as fellow leaders. You saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Victor. And to you, Victor. I acted on ill-considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition Team, forcing you to face great hardships alone. Despite all that, you still strove to save all of Hazui. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. And we understood, Commander, that you had the re reasons to act as you did. Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We've left the things in quite a state up at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You'd rather face that what's in front of us than dwell on the past, huh? Just what I expect from a real scientist. A dependable attitude, indeed. Yes, let's move on. No need to speak any further about my rash actions, not to mention my loss of composure. It seems that having Victor around has been a good influence on us all. Yeah, thank goodness you were there here, huh? We'd ha have no chance of getting through this disaster without you. We're still not through it. How is he to keep fighting the red chain has shattered? Relax, I've got a plan. Thanks to what all, what by Dialga told me. Dialga, the Pokemon that spoke to you? Yeah, and along with its name, it's, it also told me what we need. The Stone of Creation's beginning. The Chain of Red. The Vessel of Humankind's Invention. Unite these th three and calm the chaos now pervading space. And finally, Mighty Dialga said that it wants to go with us back to the temple. Well, the red chain we have at least. The pieces anyway, I did collect them. And the vessel of humankind's invention. I dare say it might refer to a Pokeball. That's got to be it, but what, what about the Stone of Creation's beginning part? Liam might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ore sometimes. Is that so? Then Ward and Leon will be fine resource to consult. And what, what are your thoughts, Professor Lavinson? Do you have any idea what this stone could be? Oh, upon my word, perhaps I do. Victor, my boy, could you lend me those plates you received from the from Weirdir and others? The ones that Volo said had messages engraved upon them. Haha, uh -huh, just as I remembered. Here on the back of the earth plate it says, When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think this may be a hint to what we need. How do you mean? Don't you see? We must search for stone or rather ore. I suppose that shares the same material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Leon might know just where to find such a thing as he said he'd been investigating it at Volo's urging. Now that you mention it, that Volo fellow's come around a diamond settlement asking about those plates before too. This seems like a lead worth following. It's the side end. Thus begins our search for the stone of creation's beginning. Although the name is rather mouthful when you say, I propose we call it Origin Ore. The counterpart. Irida, may ask for your clan's aid once more. Of course, I'll call Leanne to the summit camp at once. I wait as long as anyone could reasonably expect, but my invitation just never came. So I decided to honor you all with, 
with an unsolicited visit, be glad and rejoice. Now, Adam, I see all those other louts have their little tasks to be getting on with. But what of the great Melly? Where's my role in all this? I'm your leader, Melly. Show a shred of respect, would you? Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader, Adam, and make it a good one. You want a job? Fine. Your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after the nobles and keeping the people of our clan from panicking. Take a hint. Oh, Adam, and oh, oh, you silly fool, foolish boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has work they are suited to and what work they are not. And oh, before I forget, it seems you weren't entirely useless after all, Galaxy Team Grunt. Well done, you. Take this as a reward for your adorable efforts. Just my way of encouraging the little people. And you're all so little compared to me. What a douche. I brought Leanne. Yeesh, that ugly hat suits you po as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. I should be the one consulted for my wisdom. Hizui's ores and stones are, are her precious resource. Since I was the first to realize that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with a cleaver in battle with that bumbling ball of yours. Excuse me? That bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both of you and that ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? Melly, give a give it a rest and play nice with the pro clan folks for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But Adam, man, everyone back home is all worked up about the fact you were spoken to by all mighty Sino or mighty Dialga or whatever. This is the Diamond Clan's day. Be proud. Warren Leanne, if you would. Certainly. Then let us set out at once. We make for the pro primi primival grotto. New request. Spiel. Oh, thank goodness you passed by. Please, I need you to rescue my spiel. It's adorable round body constantly to go rolling down the hill and it's headed straight for the Stone Tooth Rose and Boulder Roll Ravine. Those areas are full of dangerous Pokemon. You're the new Survey Corps member everyone's talking about, right? Please help me find my dear spiel. Yeah, follow the trail. Wait a second. I hear a shiny noise. Where's that coming from? Oh, it's Geodude. Again. Thanks for watching. Until next time, to be continued, baby.